What is up? Welcome back to Loose Beats, where we chill out and make a beat. I'm Toby, aka Cushing, from the TND YouTube channel. Make sure you check out everything we do. I got a nice, cool, ocean breezy song for you today. A little pop trap mix. And uh, let's just go on and check out our synths first. We have this Dream Synths pad, uh, which you find over in your synthesizer pad section. And uh, let's go ahead and check out what it sounds like here. Yeah, really nice little progression here. You can check out uh, my MIDI down at the bottom. We just got everything, a uh, couple little chops just to make some distinction and start the actual sample over again, but nice little movement here. And on the piano right under it, this Yamaha Grand Piano, um, which yeah, is just in your piano section in your library. Uh, we've got the same chopped up movement, but this time we have a little delay on it. Just have this regular tape delay going at a quarter note. And let's check out what this one's like. Yeah, you can already tell that it's a home run kind of melody. I love just the simplicity of the movements, you know. And let's check out these together and hear what our melody is sounding like now. I really just want it for the accents. I don't want it overwhelming our pad up there, you know? Yeah, just it comes in on the little harder hits, and I like that. Nothing too overwhelming. Now, jumping down, let's see what we got next. We use this Iris 2 from Isotope, and it is pretty sweet. I'm getting to know it. On this one, I just used one of their presets, um, didn't tweak too much, but I'm really just getting started of understanding how much you can do with this. It's an amazing tool, but uh, let's go ahead and hear how uh, this preset that was not tweaked much sounds like. I mean, that's just coming in nice. I'm liking that. Now by itself, it's just got this whiny kind of kind of a festival uh quirky kind of lead, you know? It's on this uh female Ching C sample, um and under the leads up here. And uh it's just really fun kind of sound, like haven't even changed too much, you know. Just kinda went from the preset and it's already looking good, so only we'll see how far we can get into this once you can start drawing. Oh man, so much you can do. And I'm going to come back to Iris 2 on another episode just to talk about how much more you can do with it. But for today, that's our uh, little synth lead. Here's our movements down in our MIDI. And what I really have been getting into is this other uh, isotope program called Break Tweaker. And it's really so i've been using ultra beat you know on most of uh the songs that i've shown and this is pretty much a similar sequencer beat mixer you know but um there's a lot more versatility it's pretty cool so first off uh let's check out the sound of what we got from our samples here They're on multi tracks, so I gotta play it. Yeah, you can hear how it's chopping up. And it look, you know, you get six tracks to fuck with, and uh, 
these hits are really easy. You just, you know, lay them out with a button, take them down with two clicks. And for these chops, it's so nice. Just because you can go in and uh, let's just use one of these, for example. You just click on it, highlight it. You can go down and set your either divisions, pitch, time, or speed and uh, adjust them just by clicking and dragging up. You can make them unheard of, you know. You can get them to places that are just unreal to where they're not even, don't even sound right, you know, like they start sounding like squeaks and all kinds of different stuff. So the chopping is so nice. It just really helps. There's a randomized button if you just want to wing it, you know, and the sequencer is really nice set up. And down here, I got just some uh, samples from uh, our uh, library here and just a little glitch and a little extra kind of in a second yeah a second little glitch that kind of would not sound and uh, on our hi-hats here i have it set up real nice on this end our last run through there it's just uh just fades in so nicely but uh, i'll let you hear kind of the work uh, that's gonna come out Last run right there just comes in so nice. I think it's uh, on this one right here. Oh, and it's just you can uh, you can do so much with this micro edit tool. It just makes it really easy to get everything chopped up and sound right up to date, you know. So that's our uh, beat setup here. It allows you to set up different patterns. That's what's cool about it is that you can pretty much lay out your segments, and it's a MIDI ran instrument, so you can assign them to hits on a keyboard and play your sequences throughout the song. So you can lay out everything you need and then just kind of play it uh, with MIDI to match everything up. And it's just really cool. I've been loving to use it. It definitely been saving some time and everything's been coming out good with it. But I just wanted to show what you could do with this kind of thing and how much fun you could have with it. And it's going to save some time. I'm going to keep coming back to it as I learn more about Iris 2. There's a lot to it. Uh, Break Tweaker I've kind of got the hang of, but there'll still be some new stuff coming from that way too. So anyway, check out this beat that we got today all the way through. Open hat too that comes in. The yeah, so you can see how all this comes together. We got a couple drops in here for effect and uh, I'll be soon just putting some lyrics over it and see what I can come up with. It's really, it's a really light, kind of lovey, ocean breeze kind of love song kind of feel shit. <laughs> and so I'm going to have fun writing over this one. But R8s, of course, um, I went back to, you can put them through the brake tweaker, but I still wanted that glide, and I haven't figured out how to do that on the brake tweaker yet. So I pulled it back to this 24 
and uh, just got our glide kind of high up. And you can see our movements down here and hear what they sound like by themselves. And these were free 808s too. These were ones I got from Oracle. And you can go download their packs. They've uh, been pretty efficient so far. Well, I like a lot of their 808s. So that stretch, that slide, is why I pulled it out of Break Tweaker, you know, just to give it that sound. But overall, we got a good little track here. This was a fun one to make. And I appreciate y'all showing up. Hope y'all like this shit. Give me some comments. Let me know beats you want me to make. If you want to collab, whatever, reach out. We appreciate y'all. And we're going to go out on the song. Thanks. Thanks.